In this unit, you will learn words for things at the doctor's office. You will learn how to follow a doctor's instructions. You will learn words for medicines and health problems. You will learn how to read directions on a medicine label. Good evening, class. Good evening, Ms. Marcus. Tonight, we are going to talk about doctors and patients and medicine. Is she a doctor or a patient? A doctor. a doctor. Right. A doctor examines a patient. Who takes the medicine? The doctor or the patient? The, the patient. patient. Yes. The doctor tells you what medicine to take. The doctor also examines you and tells you what to do. For example, open your mouth. Say ah. Ah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's practice. Everybody listen to my instructions and do what I say. Ready? Open your mouth. Say ah. ah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Good job. Now let's watch the doctor examine the patient. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Breathe in again. Hold your breath. Okay, let it out. Say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I want to take your temperature. Where is that thermometer? Oh, oh here it is. <laughs> Open your mouth. Close your mouth. Let's take your pulse. Lift your arm. Bend your elbow. Looks good. Good pulse. Let's check your weight. Stand up and step on the scale. Okay, class, what's this? A thermometer. Right, a thermometer. Thermometer. Repeat. Thermometer. Good. And what about this? Nobody? It's a stethoscope. Stethoscope. Repeat. Stethoscope. Good. And this? A scale. Right. A scale. Scale. Repeat. Scale. Patient. Patient. Thermometer. 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 Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Lift your arm. Lift your arm. Bend your elbow. Bend your elbow. Take your pulse. Take your pulse. Take your pulse. Take a temperature. Take a temperature. Take a temperature. 
Step on the scale. Step on the scale. Step on the scale. Okay. Now I need somebody to be a patient. Luis, how about you? Please come to the front of the class. Okay, Luis, I'm the doctor and you will be the patient. Ready? How are you feeling today, Luis? Fine. Good. I see you're here for a checkup. Okay, please step on the scale. Good. Please sit on the table. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and hold your breath. Everything looks great. You can breathe out now. <laughs> you are fine. You're in perfect health, Louise. Thanks. Let's take a moment to learn about some of the over-the-counter medicines you can buy. Please watch. Hello, and welcome to Happy Time Pharmacy. We are here to serve you. You have a... Oh, oh, ah, headache? We have aspirin. Do you have... Oh, red and itchy eyes? We have eye drops. Do you have We have throat lozenges. Do you have a Oh, a chew! A bad Let's take a moment to learn about some of the over-the-counter medicines you can buy. Please watch. Hello, and welcome to Happy Time Pharmacy. We are here to serve you. You have a... Oh, oh, ah, headache? We have... Aspirin. Do you have... Oh, red and itchy eyes? We have eye drops. Do you have We have throat lozenges. Do you have a Oh, a chew! A bad cold? We have Cold medicine? Do you have a... Oh. Oh. Uh, a rash? We have skin cream. And do you have a... Oh. Oh. Stomach ache? We have an acid. Do you have a problem? We have the solution. Happy Time Pharmacy. We are here to serve you. Because we care. Pharmacist. Pharmacist. Prescription. Prescription. Cough, cough, cough. Cold, cold. Rash, rash. Itchy eyes, itchy eyes. Pain reliever, pain reliever. Lozenge. Lozenge.
Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Antacid. Antacid. Eye drops. Eye drops. Tablets. Skin cream. Skin cream. Okay, class. Look at the picture. Is this a clinic or a pharmacy? A, a clinic. clinic. That's right. This is a pharmacy. Pharmacy. Repeat. Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. At the clinic, we talk to a doctor or a nurse. At the pharmacy, we talk to a pharmacist. Pharmacist. Repeat. Pharmacist. Mm -hmm. In the pharmacy, there are two ways to buy medicine. You can buy medicine with a prescription. Prescription. Repeat. Prescription. Your doctor gives you a prescription. Here's your prescription. Thank you. Then you go to the pharmacy where the pharmacist fills your prescription. But not all medicine needs a prescription from your doctor. There are over-the-counter medicines. These medicines don't need a prescription. People sometimes take them for a headache, a stomach ache, a sore throat, a cough, and other aches and pains. Let's take a look at some of these over-the-counter medicines. Class, what do you buy for a headache? A, pain reliever. B, lozenges. C, cough syrup. Or D, antacid. A. a. Right. You take a pain reliever, like aspirin, for a headache. Let's take a look at another problem. What do you take for a bad <coughs> a cough? A, pain reliever. B, lozenges. C, cough syrup. Or D, antacid. C. That's right. You take cough syrup for a bad cough. Hello, class. I'm your neighborhood pharmacist. I have aspirin, cough syrup, and many kinds of medicine to help you when you're sick. Oh, excuse me, I have a customer. Hello, welcome to the pharmacy. How are you today? I'm not feeling well. What's the matter? I have a headache. Do you have any aspirin? Yes, we do. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <coughs> oh, good evening, sir. How may I help you? I feel terrible. <coughs> What's the matter? I have a bad cold. Do you have any cold medicine? Yes, we do. <coughs> Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. In statements, use some. I need some cough drops. He has some cough drops. In negative statements, use any. I don't need any skin cream. She doesn't have any skin cream. In statements, use some. I need some cough drops. He has some cough drops. In negative statements, use any. I don't need any skin cream. She doesn't have any skin cream.
Okay, class, let's learn how to read medicine labels. Please watch. <coughs> Take two tablespoons at bedtime. What medicine is Mrs. Garcia taking? Cough syrup. That's right. Is she taking one or two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. Very good, Lana. Now let's watch another example. Can you read the label for me? Sure. Apply two drops to each eye. Okay. Oh, okay. much better. Yeah? What medicine is Samantha taking? Eye drops. That's right. Is she applying one or two drops to each eye? Two drops. That's correct. Now it's your turn. You be the pharmacist. Practice giving directions to your customers. I have a really bad headache. How much aspirin do I take? Take two tablets every four hours. I have a sore throat. How many lozenges do I take? Take one lozenge every four hours. <coughs> I have a bad <coughs> cough. How much cough syrup do I take? <coughs> take two tablespoons every four hours. What's the matter, Saint John? Oh, my foot! Who happened? I think he broke his foot. Call 911. 911? Uh, yeah, we have an emergency. Send an ambulance. A worker broke his foot. Uh, I, I'm okay. I have to. Don't move, don't move, Saint John. Hello, Saint John. I'm Dr. Roberts. Tell me what happened. Accident at work. Let's just take a look. I'm going to bend your knee. Does this hurt? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. How about this? Yes, it hurts. Your cast looks good. And you have your crutches. I want you to take ibuprofen four times a day for pain. That's two tablets every four hours. Okay? Two? Let me just write that for you. Two tablets every four hours. Now go to the drugstore, pick up one bottle of ibuprofen, okay? Shin Jun is a construction worker. One day at work, he drops a block on his foot. He can't move his foot. He thinks it's broken. His friend calls 911. An ambulance takes him to a hospital. Let's go over some vocabulary. One tablet. Two tablets. One lozenge. Lozenges. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. In this unit, you will learn words for rooms in the home. 
You will learn words for things around the home. You will learn how to read abbreviations on a for rent sign. And you will learn how to ask and answer questions about an apartment for rent. Good evening, class. How is everyone? Great. Great. Thank you. Good. I want to show you a picture. What is this? An apartment. Yes. This is an apartment building. How many of you live in an apartment? Okay, five of you live in an apartment. Let's look at another picture. Is this an apartment building? No, it isn't. Does anyone know what it is? It's a house. Yes, this is a house. How many of you live in a house? Five of you live in a house. How about you, Miss Marquez? I used to live in an apartment until last year. Now my family lives in a house. Let's take a moment to learn some names of rooms in a house. Please watch. Bedroom. Bathroom. Kitchen. Living room. Dining room. Garage. Okay, class, let's take a look at this house. This is the kitchen. This is the living room. These are the bedrooms. And this is the bathroom. How many bedrooms are there in this house? Two. Right. How many bathrooms are there? One. Right. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom house or home. Now let's look at the outside of the house. This is the garage. You park your car here. And this is the yard. There's a tree and some grass. It looks like a nice place to relax. Now what's this over here? A pool. Yes, it's a pool. Sometimes we say swimming pool. How many of you like to swim? Apartment. Apartment. House. House. Living room. Living room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Dining room. Dining room. Bedroom. Bedroom. Bathroom. Bathroom. Laundry room. Laundry room. Garage. Yard. Yard. Pool. Pool. Now let's learn more words we can use to talk about our homes. Where's Jack? He's at the front door. Where's Jack? He's in the elevator. Where's Jack? He's on the porch. Where's Jack? He's on the roof. Where's Jack? He's on the sidewalk. Where's Jack? He's on the balcony. Where's Jack? He's in the laundry room. Where's Jack? He's at the gate. Where's Jack? He's by the pool. 
Where's Jack? He's, He's everywhere. everywhere. Front door. Front door. Porch. Porch. Elevator. 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 Balcony. Balcony. Gate. Gate. Roof. Roof. Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Look at the pictures and answer my questions using these words. Where's Jack? He's at the gate. Where's Jack? He's on the balcony. Where's Jack? He's in the elevator. Where's Jack? He's on the roof. Where's Jack? He's at the front door. Where's Jack? He's by the pool. Where's Jack? He's on the sidewalk. Where's Jack? He's in the laundry room. Where's Jack? He's on the porch. Now let's talk about your homes. Lynn, how many bedrooms are there in your home or apartment? There are two bedrooms. Good. Now ask Elena the question. How many bedrooms are there in your apartment? There's one bedroom. Good. Lana, how many bathrooms are there in your apartment? There is one bathroom. Okay, now ask Jagraj the question. Remember, he lives in a house. How many bathrooms are there in your house? There are two bathrooms. Good, good practice, everyone. Questions and answers with there is and there are. Is there a balcony? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Are there trees in the yard? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. How many bathrooms are there? There are three bathrooms. How many bedrooms are there? There is one bedroom. Hello? Hello. Is Andre there? Yes, this is Andre. Um. I'm calling about the apartment for rent. Well, that's great. It's a wonderful apartment. We're talking two bedrooms, full bath, and a very nice kitchen with a brand new refrigerator. Uh, and it's got a nice big deep bathtub if you're someone like me who just loves to take baths. Uh, I don't understand. There's underground parking and there's public uh, transportation. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Cillian. Oh, hi, Lana. What's wrong? You look upset. I'm looking for a new apartment. I'm trying to read these ads, but I don't know what they mean. I see. And I call all these numbers, but I can't speak. I don't know the words. Don't worry, so you, you can learn the right words. You're right. I can. Come <laughs> on, let's go to class. Okay. Okay, class, let's take a look at this sign. This is a for rent sign. Where do you see these signs? In front of apartment buildings. What does the sign tell you? You can rent an apartment or a house there. Right. Now watch as I make a for rent sign. This is for a two-bedroom apartment. 
I shorten the word bedroom to B D R M. And I shorten the word apartment to A P T. Then I put the information onto the sign. The apartment has one bathroom. I shorten the word bathroom to B A. And I put that onto the sign. The rent is $900 a month, which goes onto the sign. If you're interested in the apartment, you call the manager. I shorten the word manager to M G R, and I put that onto the sign. Finally, I need to give the manager's telephone number. The phone number is three two three five 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 one six five two. Let's put that on the sign. Here's the finished for rent sign. Class, is it a one bedroom apartment? Uh, no, it isn't. It's a two bedroom apartment. Good. How many bathrooms does it have? One bathroom. How much is the rent? Nine hundred dollars a month. Right. Who do I call for more information? The manager. What's the manager's number, Celia? Three two three five 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 one six five two. Very good. Is this sign for an apartment? No, it isn't. Is this sign for a house? Yes, it is. How many bedrooms does it have? It has two bedrooms. How many bathrooms does it have? It has two bathrooms. How much is the rent? It's fourteen fifty a month. Who do you call for more information? Call Janet, the manager. What's the manager's phone number? It's eight one eight five 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 nine one nine four. Good work. Now you can read a for rent sign. Okay, class. After you find a home for rent that interests you, you have to call the manager. This is Maria. She's looking for an apartment. Now she's ready to call the manager. Let's watch. Hello. Hello. Is this Mrs. Gomez? Yes, it is. My name is Maria Miller. I'm calling about the apartment for rent. I have a few questions. Sure. What do you want to know? How many bedrooms does it have? It has two bedrooms. Does the apartment have a balcony? Yes, it does. Is there a swimming pool? Yes, there is. How much is the rent? It's nine fifty a month. When is the apartment available? The apartment is available immediately. Oh, when can I see it? You can see it tomorrow at ten thirty. Okay. Do you have the address? Yes, I pass your apartment building when I walk to work. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello. Hello. Is Frank there? This is Frank. Hi. My name is Maria Miller. I'm calling about the apartment for rent. I have a few questions. Sure. What do you want to know? How many bedrooms does it have? It has one bedroom. Does the apartment have a balcony? Yes, it does. 
Is there a swimming pool? No, there isn't. How much is the rent? It's $800 a month. When is the apartment available? The apartment is available immediately. Oh, when can I see it? You can see it tomorrow at 3.30. Okay. Do you have the address? Yes, I pass your apartment building when I take the bus. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Three two three five 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 one six four five. Hello. Hello, is Danny there? Yes, this is Danny. Hello, Danny. My name is Celia. I'm calling about the apartment for rent. Great. How can I help you? How many bedrooms does it have? It has two bedrooms. Does it have a balcony? Yes, it does. Is there air conditioning? Yes, there is. How much is the rent? It's $900 a month. When can I see the apartment? Actually, you can come and see it right now if you want to. Oh, yes. Thank you. Do you know where it is? Yes, um, it's near the elementary school. That's right. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. You must be Celia. Yes. I'm Danny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let me show you the apartment. This is the living room. It's beautiful. I like the large window. It's great. The sun comes in every morning. Really? Hmm? That's wonderful. <laughs> Let me show you the rest of the apartment. <laughs> And here's the kitchen. I love it. <laughs> yes, it's just like my kitchen upstairs. I love to cook. You do? Yes. Although it's not always fun cooking for one. I live by myself. Really? Oh, that must be lonely. It is sometimes. Mm. I like this apartment very much. Well, if you're interested, you can fill out an application. Yes, please. <laughs> Celia, relax. I can't cut your hair if you keep moving around like that. I can't relax. I want that apartment. It's a perfect apartment. It has a big living room, a beautiful kitchen. It's near Lorena School, and the manager is very nice. Oh. <laughs> Answer your phone. Hello? Yes, she is. Wait a minute, please. Uh, ready? Hello? Yes, this is Celia. Oh, I'm fine, Danny. How are you? Oh, that's good. Excuse me? I have the apartment? Yeah. You can yeah. it. Oh, oh, that's, that's wonderful. Great. Okay, I can see you tomorrow for the paperwork. Good. Yes. 
Bye. Congratulations. So Great. You got it. Celia is looking for a new apartment. She sees an ad in the newspaper and she calls the phone number. Celia is not happy. She can't understand the manager and she doesn't know how to ask questions. Now it's your turn to practice. Is this an apartment building or a house? That's right, it's a house. Is this an apartment building or a house? It's an apartment building. Now look at this apartment and answer my questions. How many bedrooms does it have? It has two bedrooms. How many bathrooms does it have? It has two bathrooms. Is there a living room? Yes, there is. Good work. In this unit, you will learn words for furniture in a home. You will learn how to talk about things in a home. You will learn how to read a garage sale ad. You will learn how to use prepositions to talk about locations. For example, the stove is next to the sink. The sofa is under the window. Good evening, class. Good evening, Good evening Miss Margaret. Margaret. Celia, did you find an apartment? Yes, a very nice one. That's wonderful. Have you moved in yet? No. First, I need to buy more things for my apartment. Then, Jing Li, Lana, and Jack Rack are going to help me moving. That's nice that you have friends to help you. Let's begin today's lesson by learning the names of things we find in a home. Maybe some of these things are what you need for your apartment, Celia. Oh, good. Please watch and listen. Sofa. Coffee table. Chair. Bookcase. Lamp. Television or TV. Plant. Painting. Curtains. Now that we know the names of things we have in a home, let's practice. This is a living room. We need to furnish it. What do we put in a living room? Luis. A sofa. Good idea. A sofa. Elena, what else do we need? A coffee table. Yes. A coffee table. It looks great. What else, Carmen? It needs a chair. Now we have a chair. What else, Lynn? A lamp. Good. A lamp. What else, Pablo? A bookcase for your books. Very good. A bookcase. Ying Li, any other suggestions? A plant. Great. A plant. Anything else? Lana. Curtains for the window. Excellent. Curtains. Shinjun, anything else? A painting. A painting for the wall. It looks very nice. Are we finished or do we need anything more? Jagrash. A TV. We need a TV. A TV. What a great living room. Bookcase. 
bookcase, bookcase, chair, 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 coffee table, coffee table, coffee table, curtains, 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 lamp, lamp, lamp. Plant, painting, 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 sofa, sofa, television, look at the pictures and repeat after me. The stove is in the kitchen. The bed is in the bedroom. The sink is in the kitchen. The dresser is in the bedroom. The refrigerator is in the kitchen. The night table is in the bedroom. Bed, bed. Dresser, dresser. Night table, night table. Refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator. Sink, sink. Stove, stove, stove. Does everyone like this living room? I don't like this living room. Okay, what do you want to change? The bookcase and the chair. I like the chair on the right. Okay. You like the chair next to the lamp, like this? Yes, the chair next to the lamp. Good job, Celia. Next to is a preposition. Let's learn about prepositions. The lamp is next to the chair. The chair is on the left. The bookcase is on the right. The coffee table is in front of the sofa. The lamp is in back of the sofa. The chair is in between the tables. The plant is on the table. The sofa is under the window. The window is above the sofa. Now let's practice using the prepositions. Shinjun, where's the plant? It's on the table. It's on the table, yes. Ying Li, where's the sofa? It's under the window. Very good. It's under the window. And where's the window, Lin? It's above the sofa. It's above the sofa. Good job. Is the chair on the right or on the left, Elena? It's on the left. It's on the left. Good. Celia, is the bookcase on the right or on the left? It's on the right. It's on the right. Excellent job, everyone. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. For example, if I say, where is the lamp? You answer, it's on the table. Are you ready? Let's begin. 
Where's the TV? It's in front of the sofa. Where's the plant? It's in back of the chair. Where's the painting? It's above the sofa. Great job. Class, let's practice describing things we have in a home. What do you need for your new apartment, Celia? I need chairs. What kind of chairs? Uh, I don't know. Let's learn some ways to describe furniture. We have three chairs, a green one, a blue one, and a brown one. Celia, which one do you want for your new apartment? I want the blue one. Shagraj, how about you? Which one do you want? I want the brown one. Carmen, how about you? The green one. Okay, let's talk about TVs. We have three TVs. A big one, a medium one, a small one. Elena, which one do you want? I want the big one. I like to watch soccer on TV. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Anyone else? I want the medium one. I want the small one. I don't like TV. <laughs> Good choices. How about stoves? Let's look. I see two stoves, an old one and a new one. Lynn, which one do you want? I want the old one. It looks like my grandmother's stove. I want the new one. I like to cook and I like to eat. <laughs> now let's look at some sofas. I have three sofas. One is in excellent condition. One is in good condition. And one is in bad condition. What do you think? Which one do you want? Carmen. I want the one in excellent condition. Does anyone want the one in poor condition? Okay, no one wants the one in poor condition. It doesn't look very comfortable. Let's look at some coffee tables. One is expensive, one is reasonable, and one is cheap. Lana, which one do you want? I want the expensive one. I like that one too. Good choice. Big, big. Medium, medium. Small, small, small. Old, old. New, new. Excellent condition. Excellent condition. Poor condition. Poor condition. Expensive. 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 Reasonable. 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 Cheap. 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 We now know how to describe things in the home. Let's see what you remember. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. Which stove do you want? I want the new one. Which TV do you want? I want the big one. Which coffee table do you want? 
I want the expensive one. Excellent work. I need many things for my new apartment. I have an idea. We have to go shopping. Shopping? When? Where? How? I don't have a lot of money. Oh, there are many places we can go. There is a furniture store on Main Street. I know that store. It's very expensive. Expensive? Expensive means it costs a lot of money. But don't worry. There are other places we can buy furniture. You can look in the newspaper or go to garage sales. You can find sofas, lamps, refrigerators that are less expensive. They might be used, but they can still be good. Here is the newspaper. Ah, let's look. You'll be fine, Celia. It takes time to find the things you like, but everything will look great. Okay. Celia. What kind of chairs do you want for your apartment now? I want big chairs in good condition. Where can she buy chairs? Jagrash. At the furniture store. You can buy furniture at a furniture store. Also, sometimes people sell their old furniture at a garage sale. You can find garage sales at people's homes. Let's visit one and see. Hmm, garage sale. Hmm, may I help you? Hi, I'm looking for some chairs. How much is this blue one? It's $35. Oh no, this chair is in excellent condition. It's $40. Can I buy the blue one and the orange one for $50? The orange one is old and it's in poor condition. I think $50 is reasonable for these two chairs. Okay, $50 for both. Congratulations, you have two new chairs. Thank you. Class, how much are the two chairs? Lana. The chairs are $50. Shinjun, is that a reasonable price? Yes, it is. Carmen, how is the blue chair? It's in excellent condition. And Lynn, how is the orange chair? It's in bad condition. Good work, everyone. So, Celia, are you going to go to a garage sale to look for furniture? Yes, I want to go to a garage sale this weekend. But how do I find a garage sale? You can find garage sales listed in your local newspaper. And sometimes people put signs in the neighborhood with the address of a garage sale. Time to go. Use the English we've learned and good luck with your new apartment, Celia. Thank you. Here is the key to your new apartment. Thank you, Danny. And thank you for helping me move in. You're welcome, Celia. And if you need anything, I'm right upstairs. Please ask. Oh, Celia! It's a nice apartment. How many rooms does it have? There are two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, and this living room. Congratulations! Congratulations. Thank you. Now let's get to work. Oh, I like it. It's great. Come on, don't stand there. Let's go! We have two chairs, 
and two lamps. You have a coffee table and a sofa. You have some plants and a television. Yes, you have a great apartment. It's my first apartment in the United States. I can't believe it. I'm very happy. Oh, I'm so happy for you too. <laughs> You're so lucky. Celia needs a lot of new things for her apartment. She doesn't have much money, so she shops at garage sales. She finds a lot of good furniture for reasonable prices. She buys two lamps, two chairs, a coffee table, a television, and a red sofa. She also buys some plants. We have a sofa coffee table, chair, lamp, bookcase, a plant, curtains, a painting, and a TV. In this unit, you will learn words for different types of transportation. You will learn how to ask and answer questions about transportation. You will learn how to read a bus schedule. You will learn words for directions on a map. And you will learn how to read traffic signs. Celia is in her new apartment. Her friends helped her move into the apartment. They are celebrating Celia's new home. Good evening, class. Good evening, Good evening class. The first part of tonight's lesson is on transportation, such as driving a car, taking the bus, riding a bike, the way you get from place to place. Good. I need this information. Do you take the bus, Jagraj? Not on Sundays. <laughs> Sometimes a bus schedule changes on Sundays. Okay, class, let's take a moment to learn about different kinds of transportation. Please watch. Bicycle. Motorcycle. Car. Bus. Truck. Limousine Train Metro Rail Plane Let's review. Elena, what's this? It's a bus. Lynn, what's this? It's a train. Roberto, what's this? It's a truck. Celia, what's this? It's um, a car, but I don't remember the name of it. It's a limousine. Ah, yes, a limousine. Mm -hmm. Good job. Bicycle. Bicycle. Bus. Bus. Car, car. Driver, driver. Limousine. Metro rail, metro rail. Motorcycle. Plane, plane, plane. Pedestrian. 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 Schedule. 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 Train. Train. Truck. Truck. Truck.
Look at the pictures and answer my questions. What's this? It's a motorcycle. What's this? It's a car. What's this? It's a plane. What's this? It's a bus. What's this? It's a bicycle. Good practice. Now I want to ask you questions about transportation. Lynn, can you ride a motorcycle? No, I can't. Can you ride a bicycle? Yes, I can. Do you ride a bicycle to school? Yes, I do. Can anybody ride a motorcycle? I can. Do you ride a motorcycle to school? Yes, I do. That's great, but be careful. I'm very careful. Good. Does anybody take the metro rail to school? I do. Do you take the metro rail to work too? Yes, I take it to school, to work, and to the market. Wonderful. How many of you can drive a car? Can anybody drive a limousine? I can. I'm a limousine driver. Where do you take people in your limousine? To the airport. Hmm. Roberto drives a limousine. He takes people to the airport. Now let's practice asking this question. How do you get to school? Repeat. How do you get to school? Pablo, ask Elena. How do you get to school? I ride a motorcycle. Good. Sabina, ask Luis. Luis, how do you get to school? I drive a car. Good. Roberto, ask Lynn. Uh, how do you get to school? I ride a bicycle. Good. Celia, ask Shinjun. How do you get to school? I take the bus. Good job. Yes, Shinjun. Miss Marquez, how do you get to school? I drive a car. Does anyone know what this is? It is a bus schedule. That's right, Shagrash. Bus schedules tell you where buses stop and what time they come and go. The number 32 does not go anywhere on Sundays. <laughs> ah, and you learned that last weekend, right? Yes. Well, let's take a moment to look at a bus schedule. Here's a sample schedule for bus seven. The route for this bus is Main Street. The bus arrives at Main and First at 8.30. The bus arrives at Main and White at 8.45. The bus arrives at Main and Wilson at 9 o'clock. It's important to learn how to read bus schedules. You can find bus schedules on any bus. You can also find them on the internet. I'm going to look on the internet tonight. Jagrash, you're here. I'm here on time. How's the bus? The bus? It's easy. Just read the schedule, no problem. <laughs> Am I late? Danny! No, please come in. I think you need something for your new apartment. 
Thank you. They are beautiful. Hey, Danny, I am on time. <laughs> and I know how to read the bus schedule. Come on, let me tell you about it. It's Sunday. Jagraj is going to Celia's apartment. He is waiting for bus 32 at Palm Avenue and 1st Street. The schedule says that bus 32 comes at 9.15. Jagraj waits and waits, but the bus doesn't come. Jagraj waits for 20 minutes, and then he walks to Celia's apartment. It takes him two hours to get there. He is three hours late. Roberto, you drive every day. Let me ask you a question. Where do you see this sign? You see this sign on the highway. Yes. This is a speed limit sign on a highway. Do you speed, Roberto? A speed? Drive too fast? Oh, no. Good. You shouldn't speed. You should drive the speed limit. <laughs> Now let's learn the words north, south, east, and west. Look at this map of the United States. North, south, east, west. Minnesota is in the north. Texas is in the south. New York is in the east. California is in the west. Now answer my questions. Is Minnesota in the north or in the south? It's in the north. Is California in the east? or in the west. It's in the west. Good work. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. Does she take the metro rail or the bus to school? She takes the bus. Does he ride a motorcycle or a bicycle to work? He rides a motorcycle. Is she a driver or a pedestrian? She's a pedestrian. Great work. In this unit, you will learn words for recreation. You will learn words for temperatures and seasons. You will learn how to read a weather forecast. You will learn how to talk about the future. For example, it's going to rain. They're going to have a party. Next week is our last week of class. Oh. To celebrate your success, I think we should do something special. I suggest we have a picnic in the park. I love picnics. What day? How about Saturday of next week? 
We can bring food and drinks and play games. Those are wonderful suggestions. We can meet at the school and take the bus to the park. Ying Li, I want to show you the pictures from the park. Ryan, come on, join us. Okay, I'll be right there. This first photo is of Ryan. He's playing tennis, but I like this one better. What am I doing? You're teaching me how to play tennis. Oh yeah, I remember that. And in this one, I'm playing tennis really well. <laughs> well, I'm a good teacher. <laughs> And here's Ryan skateboarding. And this is Samantha. She's sitting in the sun. Oh, now、Aww. this is a great picture. We're eating our picnic lunch. <laughs> oh no! Don't show that one. Oh come on! It's a great、oh. picture. What's wrong, Ryan? Ah!、Uh, <laughs> oh, he's dancing. <laughs> Ryan is a great dancer. <laughs> Oh. And here's another picture. Oh, Samantha, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm singing. <laughs> She's singing a love song to me. Oh. <laughs> well, those are all the pictures. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Bring food. Bring food. Sit in the sun. Sit in the sun. Laugh. Laugh. Play sports. Play sports. Play games. Play games. Let's look at some pictures from my class party last semester. They're dancing. I'm laughing. He's eating some chips. She's drinking some soda. They're playing a game. Let's talk about the pictures. Elena, are they playing a game? Yes, they are. Right, they're playing a game. Lynn, are they eating? No, they're not. They're dancing. Shinjun, what am I doing in this picture? <laughs> you are laughing. Right, I'm laughing because I'm happy. Sabina, what is he doing? He's eating some chips. Right, he's eating some chips. What is she doing, Celia? She's drinking soda. Yes, she's drinking soda. Good job. Now let's practice talking about what people aren't doing. Let's begin. They aren't eating. They're dancing. He isn't eating salad. He's eating chips. She isn't drinking milk. She's drinking soda. Present continuous statements. I'm sitting in the sun. She's laughing. He's eating a hamburger. We're having a picnic. You're playing a game. They're dancing. Negative statements. I'm not reading. She isn't crying. He isn't eating pizza. We aren't having a picnic. You aren't playing tennis. They aren't singing. The picnic is on Saturday. Yes, but you can come. Okay. Hey, look. Time for the weather report. I hear it's going to rain, Chet. That's right. Rain today, rain tomorrow, and rain on Saturday. Thank you, Chet. Rain? There is no rain outside. Yes, today is nice. Oh no, it is raining. 
What about the picnic? Okay, it's going to rain on Saturday, so we're going to have our party on Thursday. And we're going to have the party here in our classroom. I can bring a CD player and CDs so we can have some music. Good. I want to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a list. What can you bring to the party? I can bring soda. Great. Shinjun is going to bring soda. I can bring salad. Wonderful. Sally is going to bring salad. I can bring potato chips. Luis is going to bring potato chips. Roberto and I can bring pizza. Lynn and Roberto are going to bring pizza. Pablo and I can bring a cake. Pablo and Elena are going to bring a cake. I can bring some cookies. Okay, Sabina is going to bring cookies. I can bring plates and napkins. Great. Ying Li is going to bring plates and napkins. I want to bring something. What do we need? How about cups, Jagraj? Yes, I can bring cups. Great. Jagraj is going to bring cups. Well, I think we have everything we need. It's going to be a great party. Can we bring friends? Yes, bring your friends. We're going to eat and drink and have fun. Future tense statements with be going to. I'm going to eat. He's going to drink. She's going to have fun. You're going to eat. We're going to drink. They're going to have fun. It's going to rain. What's tomorrow's weather forecast? What kind of weather are we going to have tomorrow? In downtown Los Angeles, it's going to be sunny and clear tomorrow morning. In the early afternoon, it's going to be windy. In the late afternoon, it's going to be cloudy. In the early evening, it's going to rain in downtown Los Angeles. But in the mountains, it's going to snow. Good. Now let's learn some weather vocabulary. Please watch. Clear. Cloudy. Rain. Sunny. Foggy. Smoggy. Windy. Stormy. Snow. Sunny. Sunny. Cloudy. 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 Clear. Clear. Windy. Windy. Foggy, 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 smoggy, rain, snow, snow. The weather can change every day, but it also changes with the seasons. Let's learn about the different seasons. The seasons. Spring. It's cool and windy in the spring. Summer. It's hot and sunny in the summer. Fall. In the fall, it's cool and cloudy. Fall is also called autumn. Winter. Winter is a cold season. Roberto, do you like winter? No, I don't. 
I like hot and sunny weather. Celia, do you like spring weather? Yes, I do. I like cool and windy weather. Seasons, seasons. Spring, spring. Summer, summer. Fall, fall. Winter, winter. Hot, hot, hot. Warm, warm. Cool, cool. Cold, cold, cold. Now let's watch a music video. Spring, summer, fall, winter. I like spring. It's cool and windy. Spring, summer, fall, winter. I like summer. It's hot and sunny. Spring, summer, fall, winter. I like fall. It's cool and cloudy. Spring, summer, fall, winter. I like winter. It snows and rains. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Hi, I'm Chet Knightley, and it's time for your nightly weather report. Today, it was sunny and hot. Is it going to stay that way for the rest of the week? Let's find out in my five-day weather forecast. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it's going to be hot and smoggy. On Wednesday, it's going to be sunny and warm. On Thursday, it's going to be foggy and cool. On Friday, it's going to be windy and cool. And on Saturday, it's going to be rainy and cold. I'm sorry if you have weekend plans because it's going to be stormy all weekend. Well, that's my weather report. Good night. Now it's your turn to practice. Look at the five-day forecast and then answer my questions. Is it going to be cold or hot on Tuesday? It's going to be hot. Is it going to rain this Wednesday? No, it isn't. Is it going to be foggy on Thursday? Yes, it is. How is the weather going to be on Friday? It's going to be windy and cool. How is the weather going to be on Saturday? It's going to be rainy and cold. Good practice, everyone. Are you having fun? Yes, I am. I like the music. Do you? Yes, very much. <laughs> I'm very strong. Oh, he's over there eating cake. Celia. Hey. Ah, she's over there with, with Danny. <laughs> Whoa. I think she likes Danny. <laughs> I think she does. <laughs> You're so funny, Danny. <laughs> I'd love to see you laugh. <laughs> Celia, I like you a lot. Do you still think I'm a great dancer? Oh, the best. I win. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I lost it. 
king. Nobody can beat me. I can beat you. Move over, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A girl. Set him up. Okay. Here's some soda. Thanks. You're a great waitress. Hey, I'm not at work now. Hey, I was just joking. <laughs> okay. I win. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? Gather around. Gather around. Tonight is the last night we are going to be together as a class. Aww. I'm going to miss you all, but I know you're going to have a great future. You're very important to me. Come back and visit anytime. Miss Marquez, we are not going to forget you. You are an excellent teacher. So we all agree. You're an excellent teacher, you're all excellent students, and we're all excellent dancers. Let's show them, Samantha. Okay. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Miss Marcus, you want to dance? Yes. <laughs> Gather around. Tonight is the last night we are going to be together as a class. Oh. I'm going to miss you all. But I know you're going to have a great future. You're very important to me. Come back and visit anytime. Miss Marquez, we are not going to forget you. You are an excellent teacher. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. What is he doing? He's singing. What is he doing? He's eating. What are they doing? They are playing tennis. What are they doing? They're dancing. Good work. I've enjoyed being your teacher very much. Congratulations on completing the class. Remember to keep practicing your English.